Today we're at 1635 Laurel Creek Circle, Lithonia, Georgia, doing a move out inspection. The electricity and water are still on. The tenant just recently moved out due to a break-in. They wanted to, I guess, move out of this area. Notice the rocks back here. Notice this window right here has a board over it. That is because this is this is a window that was busted out. All right, we're back at the front. We'll go ahead and go in the front here. All right, right when you enter, you're facing the downstairs hallway. To the right is the living room, and to the left is the stairway. Let's go ahead and go to the living room first. And the house is in um, pretty, pretty nice condition. Did not really find much at all. It's one of the cleaner move outs that I've seen. All the carpet can definitely stay. Uh, there's no carpet in here that needs to be replaced from what I've seen. Um, this right here is where we entered from. A little foyer area. One thing, however, that does need to be fixed is this dent in the wall. To give that a comparison, there's my hand and there's the dent. You can see there's some debris on the ground from it. Uh, we'll now go down the hallway here. To the right here, this door is the uh, half bath downstairs. Go ahead and take a look at that. the sink. There's another wall right there. There's that wall. 
and there are the lights and the mirror. All right. Right in front of us is the kitchen. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. That right there is where we came from. Tenants did get everything out that they that was theirs that was that they had in possession. Um, didn't really find anything at all in the cabinets. As you can see, the countertops are good. Sink is good. Dishwasher looks like it was, it was even barely used. The stove and oven, same scenario. Looks like it was barely used. This side of the kitchen here is where the dining room is located. Go ahead and knock this one out. As you can see, this window right here is one that has the board over it. I'll show you where it's been busted. You can see right there. Bottom one's not busted, it's just the top one it looks like. Go ahead and shut this one. All right, we will head back into the kitchen. We are back into the kitchen. We will head across to that area over there. It's where the laundry room and garage is located. This right here would be the back door. It's good to go. One of the blinds, however, fell off. And there is also no rod on these blinds, so we're going to need a rod so that you can open and close them. All right, this room right here is the laundry room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Notice this wall right here, a little damaged, a little scratched up. Right behind us on the other side of the room is where the water heater is located. As well as the furnace. That's where we came in at right here. And one last look. All right, we'll head out of here. Go to the garage now. This door right here leads straight to the one car garage. Notice on the ground there's a stain there. Walls are in good condition, as well as ceiling. We'll go back out of the garage door, back into this hallway here. Notice this door on the right is a coat closet, pretty big closet here. Guess it could also be used as a pantry if need be. Right. Gonna walk back down this hallway towards the entrance. This is right here where we enter from. Take this right up the stairs. There's the handrails. We'll walk up the stairs. That's where we came from right there. 
We are at the hallway now upstairs. All right. This first door on the left would be the hallway bathroom. Got your toilet, got your sink, got your wall right here, got your wall behind the door. Got your flooring. Got your ceiling and as well as your mirror. All right. Continuing on the hall, first door on the right is what I label bedroom number one. Bedroom number one does not have a light in it, that's why it's kind of dim. No light. Only thing wrong with bedroom number one I found is over here across the room, there's a black stain on the carpet. Everything else looks good to go, as well as the closet. Look good to go. We'll exit this one, go to this door right next to it, which is the very end of the hallway. It's the one I labeled bedroom number two. Bedroom number two look good to go. See some spots on the wall right there. Some tape on the wall right there. That's where we came in from. There's a the light. Notice this closet door. Uh, paint starting to peel on it right there. As well as the closet itself at the bottom left on the baseboard. Notice again, paint starting to peel a little bit. We will walk out of bedroom number two. The hallway we came down right here, and this door right here is bedroom number three. When I labeled the master, again, all the carpet is going to be able to be kept in the home. I feel like all it's going to need, honestly, is just a good vacuum, maybe a deep clean. This right here would be the closet. All the walls are good, uh, just very few of them are going to need touch up paint. So you can see this closet, a uh, couple scratches here and there. For the most part, everything else in the closet is good to go. A couple trash over there on the ground, nothing big. And this door right here is the master bathroom. Got the bath shower combination. That's on the ground. There is some black black marks right there. Got the toilet. Got the sink. That's where we came in from right here. Got the floor flooring. Notice you got the big mirrors. And that's it, that completes our move out inspection.